Thank you. Now, today is Holocaust Memorial Day, a day when we remember the six million men, women and children who died under Nazi persecution before and during World War II. We also remember, of course, the many others who've been victims of genocide since then. Well, last night in Huddersfield, one Holocaust survivor told school children of her experience of how she managed to survive, but most of her family were murdered. And there was also a reminder that in the years since, many others have suffered at the hands of brutal regimes. Chris Kiddy was there. On the streets of Huddersfield last night, a parade to remind us that genocide is still very much with us, decades on from the horrors of Auschwitz. The puppets, known as the Weeping Sisters, represent different communities who've suffered down the years. We are representing people from Bosnia. As you know, in Bosnia, in Srebrenica happened genocide. And uh, by this way, we are representing all people from Srebrenica who suffered during the war in Bosnia. The procession led to an event at Huddersfield University, where 86-year-old Holocaust survivor Liesl Carter was among the guests. She fled Nazi Germany in 1939 as a four-year-old. As a Jewish girl, had she not left, her fate would have been sealed. I would have been transported and that would have been the end of me. So most of my family were, were murdered. Liesl's brother fled from Germany to France as he was wanted by the Gestapo. Last night, Liesl appeared alongside youngsters from two local primary schools, keen to learn more about her experiences and the importance of making sure the memories of the Holocaust don't fade away. We should all remember it, even if it happened in the past, even though it already happened, we should still remember everyone and what they did for us. It's really important that we remember it so we don't forget it in the future and we don't forget the sacrifices people have made for us. And from Liesl herself, more than 80 years on from her escape to freedom, this plea. Atrocities are happening to families all over the world because of their race or their colour or their religion. And you shouldn't, you shouldn't pick people out because they're different from you. If you're nice to people, other people should be nice to you as well. One day we'll be the apples of the future, a better world we promise to create. There was a promise from the youngsters last night in a song they'd written themselves to create a better future and hopefully try to prevent a repeat of the horrors of the past, which so very nearly cost Liesl her life. Chris Kiddy, ITV News, Huddersfield. Such remarkable amazing stories. Amazing woman. Yeah, yeah, and great to see it resonating with the kids yeah, as well. Absolutely, sir. Now we have John Mitchell.